I really quickly want to show you how to insert a drop down box within Google Docs. This is something that I've talked about and shared quite a lot on Instagram recently and a lot of my planners have them inbuilt in meaning you just click on the box choose the one you need and it will automatically change and uh, this is the one that I've been talking about and sharing on Google Sheets. So this is the new one that I put up today and I've shared the reading, writing and, and maths planners that you just simply click down and it changes to your correct learning intention or whatever it is you've got going on. Now I already have a video out there on my YouTube channel um, showing you how to add your own and then showing you how to copy over but I've had somebody ask for one for a Google Docs so I'm going to do the same thing here. Now the ones in Google Docs they don't format and look as pretty as the ones in Google Sheets. So these ones here you can actually select the cell and then make any type of change that you're after and it automatically defaults and corrects them all and the great thing about um, Google Sheets is that it always just looks pretty like I feel like you can really format it to just look fantastic and so if I was to copy this into my planner for the week um, I just know that it's always going to look beautiful see how it's all aligned you can read the whole sentence it's all formatted the way that I'd like it to be every time I click through and then I can just simply copy that you know across the week and change it based on whatever my learning intention is with Google Docs, they don't format as pretty. So the functions for the formatting, I just can't seem to get it right. And I know this is zoomed in quite far. Um, sorry, other way, let's go this way. Um, and to, it isn't gonna show you the whole of the sentence unless the sentence is short. If I just flick back to this one, even if the sentence is a long sentence, it formats to be the way you want. Um, I can't quite get it to do what I want it to do. Um, even if you're centering and aligning it, it's just not quite doing the same thing that I want it to do. But as long as you're okay with that, I mean, that's completely fine. You can just make the text really small or whatever it is you want to do. So to enter in a um, drop down box, you can create your own um from your own learning progressions, from your own ones in your class, from whatever it is you're wanting to do, you can create your own. So up here, we're gonna to go to insert and then we're just gonna go straight down to drop down. And it's gonna uh, ask you what you wanna do. So because I'm adding a drop down on a document that I already have a drop down in, it's giving me that pre-opted option here. But if I'm wanting to create a new one, I would simply just click on new drop down and it's going to ask you what you want it to be called so I'm just going to call this test I'm going to write in some examples I am learning the a sound I am learning oh my gosh spelling would be nice oh my gosh I am learning that sound oh, let's just do one more I am learning the sound and then any other ones you don't want you just simply click the rubbish bin and then if you decide you wanted more you can just add more and it will continue to create as many as you want same thing as Google Sheets you can change the color and then you just simply click save and it will save it within your drop down and you simply click on it toggle it then you're good to go and you can select the cell and paste it into your new one if you wanted to have a duplicate. And you can have more than different drop down menus within the same document. So on this one here, you can create your own um, set of uh, drop down menus, as many as you want, and then you just simply paste it into the cell that you're looking for. And same thing, you just toggle. And if you were to change your mind and say you didn't want these, or you needed to add some in, or you needed to change it, you just simply click on edit options, and then this screen pops up. You can change it around, and then it's going to say, Do you want this to apply to all of the same property drop downs, or just this one in this box? So if I click apply to all, that means that this one, this one is going to have the same options now as this one. So that's how you do it within Google Docs and you can then select the cell and, you know, change the size, um, change the font, whatever it was that you wanted. And then when you change it, it's going to select it for that. Same thing with Google Sheets to change the drop down menu or to add any more you just simply for this one here if I wanted to edit I'm going to click on edit 
it's going to bring up my validation rules over here which I can type in delete change the color what have you and if I wanted to make my own new set I'm going to click on the box that I want insert drop down and then same thing here give it a title um, and then fill in my options and click done and it's going to tell me that I've got two different types of drop downs which is fine toggle through and it's going to have my options there so I hope this helps uh, show you how to create your own drop downs especially in Google Docs it's really great that they're bringing these new features in I know somebody asked whether you can do drop downs on Google Slides and from what I can tell I don't think you can unless it's coming but at the moment Google Docs and Google Sheets is where it's at with your drop down menus um, to be able to insert progressions or insert learning intentions whatever it is you want to do uh, within your classroom.